A very warm welcome to everybody. So I'll just do it. So my name is Gaurav Madan and I blog at gauravmadan.com. Right, so that's my name, so I chose it as a brand. And today in this particular session I'm going to talk about how exactly I make up to or even more than $10,000 per month with my Evergreen affiliate funnels. So Pradeep just talked about a little bit of affiliate marketing. So I'm going to take your journey to the next level with the help of this presentation. All right. So do I have, do I have your attention right now? Yes. Sure. Yes. <laughs> so is there a way to show the screen? Let me just do one more thing. So give me a second. So I had certain things to showcase uh, to you. So let's start with this. So the yesterday screenshot. Do I have your attention now? Do I? I think no. Yeah. For some of us, you might have to explain. Yeah. Okay. So you, I mean, my, I may have to do a little bit better, right? So let me take another screenshot and let me put it over. So I cannot really share my screen right now because of this presentation setup. So I'll have to take little screenshots and show it to you. I thought I'll just put it live, but I could not right now. So let me show you. So that's the stats from last seven days. Uh, from se February 17th to February 24th, 24th being today. And the amount which you see right now, the revenue is $91,246. Do I have your attention now? Yeah. All right. So let's get this started. So uh, these numbers, I'm not really showing you to boost something that I've achieved. A lot of other people in the industry do it every single day. Okay, just to, this is just for getting your attention so that you're all warmed up after being, you know, me being the fifth speaker. So now, uh, just a little bit about me. I'm a blogger. Uh, I've been a trainer for quite a long time. Started with DSIM, left the job two years back because it was becoming repetitive and I, I like really automated part of things because as an online, in the online uh, digital arena, if you're getting an opportunity to automate stuff, so why would you really be present offline every single day to train the same thing over and over again? So that is the reason I left my job. I trained more than 3,000 plus professionals back then. Then I'm a marketer from heart, uh, you know, being doing marketing for a long, long time now, almost six years. I'm an entrepreneur. I have two SaaS companies uh, by the name Geekotec and Hyanem. And then I love to travel and I play guitar as well. So this is a little bit about me. Uh, so, a very simple thing is, if I ask you what is affiliate marketing, it's a method to earn dollars sitting at home. Like, at least that's how people, you know, really perceive it. To be honest, but that's not the case. That's not really what affiliate marketing is all about. So, let's just start. So, what is affiliate marketing then? Affiliate marketing has uh, two major things. One is an advertiser and one is a publisher. Okay, so advertiser is somebody, could be anybody in the entire world, who needs more sales for his own business, for his own setup. And then second is a publisher, somebody who needs to monetize his content or monetize something online. That is what is a publisher. In our terminology, we call it an affiliate. Okay, so that's what it is really. And then there is another part, which is the network. So network is somebody in between which connects the publisher with the advertiser to make it a secure place so that the numbers exchange, the money exchange and everything, the validation all happens through the network. You don't really have to take care of any of it. Okay, so that's the basic model of affiliate marketing. Now, when we talk about affiliate marketing, there are a lot of different uh, kind of offers you can run in affiliate marketing. 
So starting from CPC offers where you get paid, uh, you know, once somebody clicks on the particular link of the advertiser versus you have an option which is CPL which is cost per lead in which you're giving a, a certain amount of money for generating a lead which is collecting certain information for a particular offer uh, like could be an email, could be a name, email, phone number, anything which the advertiser really needs in the offer. Next thing is we have CPS which is cost per sale, uh, performance based affiliate marketing which simply means that you have to go ahead and generate a sale for the client, for the advertiser and when you generate a sale you get certain part of the commissions. And then next, another one is a an hybrid model. In the hybrid model, you could do a lead plus sales campaign, like uh, you, gen you get paid for the leads as well, and if out of those leads you're generating some sales, you get paid for that sales as well. So that's kind of a hybrid campaign. So these are the most basic campaigns, then there are other campaigns, then there are other type of campaigns as well, like mobile app installation campaigns or certain other formats which we are here, like download campaigns, stuff of that sort. So now, uh, one thing which is very, very important uh, is the mindset. Okay, in affiliate marketing, if you have to really achieve something, you have to have a proper mindset. Now, if you go with a mindset which is this, which is money making, like you know, considering affiliate marketing is a money making machine, there are going to be a lot of roadblocks uh, in your journey because your mindset is wrong. Okay, rather uh, it is short term, I would say. People, this leads people to do the following things like spamming Facebook groups, spamming people at various places, commenting on their Facebook profiles, and then uh, WhatsApping the links over and over again. So this is a flawed mindset. So the right mindset is to consider it as a business. As a business, just like you consider everything else as a business, affiliate marketing is also a full-time business. Now, uh, this is a kind of business which we have been running for the past, like this is one part of our business and this does, gen I mean this generates huge amount of margins for us when we talk about profits. This is like the highest sector profitable, profitable uh, avenue in our journey. Okay, so it adds almost 50% in our business. So now here I'm going to talk about something like, you know, my own $100,000 affiliate marketing formula. Uh, this is something which I've been using personally for the last two years and uh, consistently it has performed wonders for us. So what is this formula exactly? It's a very, very simple step-by-step -step guide, alright? So first thing is, you have to go ahead and choose a profitable niche. For people who don't know what a niche is, niche is simply a segment which you want to really go forward in. Like, I like playing guitar, I can go ahead and I could do something in guitar and you know, choose that niche and promote something in that. So that's the niche. Second thing which you have is you have to choose an offer, okay, to promote. Of course, if you have to do affiliate marketing, then you'll have to choose an offer. There are various networks across the globe, including India, where you could go ahead and you can choose a network. Like in India, we have Recommission, which is the leading network, right? And then in, our, in the outside world, depending on which particular industry you are in, we have multiple networks from CJ.com, ClickBank, JVZoo, PeerFly, Max Bounty, you name it, there are tons and tons of networks out there. Alright, so now one basic part which you have to understand here is in India if you're doing affiliate marketing, then you'll have to do a little bit of compromise with your payouts. As in, your payouts arrive after 45 days of your effort. Like for example, if you delivered a sale today to your client, your money is going to come to your bank account after 45 days. So there is going to be that particular 45 days where you'll have to maintain some form, some form of uh, you know courage, I would say. Because as an affiliate marketer, when you're starting up, you don't have a lot of uh, income, right? You're just starting up. So blocking your cash flow for 45 days is a huge thing. That is why I don't really like to do affiliate marketing in India and I like to do uh, affiliate marketing for foreign networks and they give commissions instantaneously, like instantaneously. I made a sale right at the point, in another one second the money would be flowing in my PayPal. So that's that's the best part about you know being outside versus India. It's just a simple flaw which may improve over a period of time. Now once you've chosen an offer, there is a key metric uh, in choosing an offer which is called as high EPCs. 
So what you'll do is, if you go to any affiliate network, you'll see a number called as EPC, which means earning per click. It simply means that how much other people are, uh, you know, averaging on every click or uh, like as an income. So that's what it, it talks about. So it gives you as a desi deciding metric while choosing an offer. So if you choose an offer with, with high EPCs, of course the probability of that offer doing well is more, right? Though every offer would be contact depending on your audience, but still it has more probability to give you more returns. Next thing is make a funnel. Okay, so uh, we, we saw Gopal talking about Facebook 4 hour funnel. So uh, though he described it just as a lead ad, but funnel has a lot more attached to it, a lot more. So it's, it's uh, you know, funnel is a bundling of certain prepositions together, which helps you increase your average value of a customer. For example, if you go to the McDonald's today and order a burger, so they'll go ahead and they'll try to upsell you a cold drink with french fries. So they're trying to bundle the things together in order to get more money from the same customer. So that's really, a, that's the part which or the role that funnel plays in the entire journey which you are going to do online. Okay, it's not a pop, very popular uh, concept in India because I've seen uh, lots and lots of marketers just selling only one product which is as a front-end product and there are no upsells whatsoever. But slowly and steadily, we're changing things and moving forward. As the cards, uh, you know, card platforms get more advanced, we are hopeful that we'll see funnels going in India as well. So next thing is, like, once you've made a funnel, you'll say, "What is a funnel?" We'll come to that in a while. Okay, so I'm just walking you through the steps first. Then you go ahead and test your funnel with free traffic, free traffic from social media, from social sources. Okay, from uh, Facebook groups for that matter, but be smart in your positioning. Don't really spam groups. Try and get that free traffic uh, in the most contextual manner. Next is, once you have figured out that the funnel is working for you, scale it with paid traffic, and then next is rinse and repeat. So that's the formula which we have for uh, you know my 100,000 affiliate marketing formula. This is plain simple, right? So let's walk you over the funnels now. So, one of the key elements of this entire process is called funnels. And, you know, uh, putting a link on your blog post is not a funnel. It's not at all a funnel. Funnel is something which is more, uh, you know, 360 degree coverage and plus uh, having multiple profit multipliers. Okay, so that's what really funnel is. So, I have certain funnels mentioned here. Uh, one is membership blocking. Second is case study ninja. Third is bonus bizarre. So normally, personally, I use seven different funnels in my own affiliate marketing, but I've mentioned the three best performing ones here because the amount of time will be able to cover only this much. So now let's go to the first particular uh, funnel, which is membership blocking. Now you may be in any industry whatsoever. You know this this would work regardless. What is a membership blocking? It's a very simple thing, whenever you choose a product, so you think of an idea, concept, or, or something, some form of information that can be given to your target audience around that offer, okay? For example, if let's say you are uh, talking about, you want to sell guitars, okay? So you make a complete course on uh, learning guitar, and then uh, as soon as the person watches the first video, you can recommend which, which is the best guitar for him. As simple as that. Okay, so this is one of them. Second, let's say you want to sell web hosting. Make a simple course. I guess uh, Deepak does it very well. Free digital marketing course. Start your own blog. And right at the first or second video, you'll see that you need a hosting to start your blog. You need a domain to start your blog. All right, I recommend this one because I use it myself and this is 100% secure. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to give something really, really valuable to our target audience. So the target audience, the, the customer, or sorry, the visitor rather comes into your funnel thinking that he will be getting something valuable, of course he is, in exchange of his email ID, phone number or whatever information you want to ask him for. Because tomorrow you can also reach back to him again. So he comes in, he consumes your content, all right, and he sees your product which has been bundled in that training 
and then of course he purchases. You know, if he's serious about it, he's going to purchase it. And it's it's in your ability how beautifully you bundle it together, how beautifully you pitch it to him, so that it is flawless without any constraints. Next thing is, uh, you know, what you have to do is once you have uh, built a free training around that particular product, you have to build a simple landing page, a very simple landing page to collect leads. It could be as simple as you just have a headline and then you have a email opt-in box. Just a headline. And I'll tell you something, the beauty of this, these funnels or uh, beauty of things online, these landing pages is that the, the uglier they are, the more they convert. This is the beauty of online world. Okay, so uh, don't actually go for making it a perfect brand landing page. You can even have uglier ones convert crazy. So now, uh, this membership lock-in funnel which we're talking about, you have created a beautiful, uh, let's say it's a set of three videos around your product offering. Okay, it could, could be anything. And then what you've done is you've created a lead capture page. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you have to first test it out with the free traffic. You send free traffic to your landing page. Now remember, what we are trying to do here is, or what we are trying to really achieve here is, two different things. One, something which is we are collecting a lead here. Right? We are collecting email information or uh, phone number for that matter or something, some information of that particular visitor before giving him access to that valuable training. So you must have heard that money is in the list. It's rather a cliche these days, you know, but it is in the list, right? So, you, if you really want to become an affiliate marketer, you should always focus on collecting that information from your visitor. It's a must. Okay, if you're not doing that, then it's the chances are hard that you're going to be uh, really a very big uh, affiliate marketer in this world. Even so, that is a, that is a flaw uh, which normally, which I see with a lot of uh, product review blogs, a lot of places where because they're just embedding the links, they're not collecting the lead. But remember, if somebody has purchased something from you today, there are chances, of course, that he's going to buy from you for the next 12 months. For a, that is like the minimum uh, churn rate we experience in uh, online world. So, collecting a lead is extremely, extremely important. Now once you do that, you collect the leads, next thing is you run an AR sequence. AR sequence is the follow up sequence which Deepak talked about, the drip sequence. So what you have to do is you have to run a drip sequence, alright, and once you are running a drip sequence make sure you have at least a set of 7 different follow up emails. Okay. Starting from introducing a basic thing like yourself, then coming to the problem, explaining the problem, pitching the solution and then hard closing it. Okay, it's important to do that. And you can always check that uh, whether the person has purchased it or not. There are certain webhooks, certain APIs, which various affiliate platforms allow you to embed or have, which can help you understand who is the buyer. So for all of you, if you're doing affiliate marketing, is not really uh, taking the buyer's leads from your affiliate network, you should ask. You should ask them that, please share the buyer leads with us. Okay. So that will help you to optimize the revenue. And next thing is, one thing which I have seen affiliate marketing ignore completely. Affiliate marketers rather across the globe don't do this thing. Why? I don't know. They don't run uh, remarketing campaigns. I understand that running remarket, you know, affiliate marketing, affiliate remarketing campaigns on Google can be tricky. But on Facebook it's a cakewalk. All you have to do is just cloak a URL and you'll be all set, right? So that is another point of optimizing the process, the funnel, okay? So uh, again, I'll walk you through. What you have to do is you, send, you have to send free traffic to the landing page, the lead capture page, however ugly that may be. Optimize that lead capture page by tweaking the headline, okay? You can test multiple variations by doing split testing and whatnot. Then you're collecting the leads. Once you've collected the leads, send him to the, of course, the sales page of your affiliate offer. And at the same time, trigger a drip sequence, AR sequence, which is helping you optimize the revenue. And also at the same time, have evergreen remarketing ads being triggered. Okay, so again, there are certain softwares which can help you do that. For example, if I remember, there is something called as Connect 
uh, connect audience, okay, which helps you sync your AR leads to your Facebook remarketing list. So it's simple. You sync your AR leads to your remarketing campaign, and you start showing them or triggering them the ads. Okay, so I'm talking about ten thousand dollars monthly evergreen funnels here. So we'll have to automate the process. Okay, so that's the most essential element of the entire funnel. So now, once you've done this, of course, it is going to result in dollars, right? So that's membership lock-in. Okay. Let's talk about the next funnel. The next funnel, which I would love to discuss, is about a case study ninja. You know, so I gave it this name that it's called a case study ninja. So what it does is, let's say you want to sell a product. Uh, this works normally for me in the industry which I am in, specifically SaaS products. So what I tend to do is, I take the product and I tend to build a case study around that product. You know, I use that product in my marketing and I showcase the results of that particular product to my audience. You know, so what I'm trying to do again is I'm trying to. Uh, Run a case study, build a case study, show users a benefit of using that tool by showing my results. Okay, so people trust you more because if the results are your own, they know that you have gone through that particular phase and they can trust you more. Okay, again, so what you again what you have to do is once you build this case study, you go ahead and you build a simple landing page which could say as simple as like you know see how I collected 5,000 email leads in last seven days. As simple as that. And then you start taking them to a software, showing the case study, how they can execute, you know, uh, and doing a little review. And then, of course, once you've done that, again the sequence comes into picture. Okay, it's the same sequence. The only difference is earlier it was a training, you know, membership training. This time it is actually uh, something which is a case study. Now you can replace it with an ebook, for that matter. Okay, but rather I would, I would say e-books are not uh, that friendly these days because people don't like reading so big content. So uh, people would like to read or consume something which is a three pager, okay, something which is which can be combined in three pages because the attention span is span is very very limited. So you have to take care of that. Okay, a checklist or a free three pager report can help here. So uh, you can think of multiple things to give to the user. Before you actually send them to uh, the next part, okay. Now again, uh, once you've collected the lead, you can trigger a sequence. If you're also collecting an SMS, then with the help of webhooks, you can even uh, trigger SMS to that person to automate that particular part. Okay. So now, uh, talking about the next part, these two things helps you collect a lot of leads plus a lot of results. Always remember, once you've tested it with free traffic. You got to scale it with Facebook ads, okay? Scale it with Facebook ads because what that what's that going to do is it's going to help you to uh, really automate the process and bring revenue very easily. So all you have to do is invest one dollar, get back three dollars or two dollars for that matter. The day you are able to do that, that will be your life changing moment in affiliate marketing, of course, or rather in for. For that matter, in any business, if you invest one dollar and getting two dollars back, that's a awe-inspiring moment, right? So now, once you have understood the entire funnel and these two parts, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a complete 360-degree funnel, uh, and the funnel does not end there. Now, what is going to happen is there is a next part of the funnel, which we call it as a normal profit multiplier. Okay, and what is what this profit multiplier is? You can actually go ahead and you can. Use those leads which you collected in the first place. Let's say you collected three thousand leads. Out of that, fifty uh, people pro purchased your product which you were promoting. So there were two nine five zero leads which did not purchase that product. Okay, or fifty of that buyers actually are there who purchased it. So now what you can do is you can cross promote. You can find a more relevant offer or sim you know. A relevant offer to the same similar to the offer which you were earlier running, and what you can do is you can actually run a bonus wizard page. Okay, so what is this bonus wizard page? This bonus wizard page is that you do a, a, a simple landing page, 
and you tell, tell them the information about the product and you say that it's a beautiful product and it's a good product will help you achieve the results. Could be anything. You know, could be uh, could be literally from uh, talking about weight loss, tablet pills, to anything. Okay? Anything. So you go ahead, you build that pace, and then further to that, you go ahead and you incentivize them. You incentivize your leads that if they buy from your link today, then you're going to offer them certain exclusive bonuses. Certain exclusive bonuses. Now these bonuses are amazing uh, incentives for users to actually take an action. Okay, and what, you, what is this bonus all about? What can you build as a bonus? So let me give an example. So uh, let's say you are going ahead and you're talking about a weight loss program which you're trying to sell to somebody. So what you do is you, you build a three part training sequence or training course and you say I'm going to give this training course to you for free in which I teach you how to go from X to X kgs in X amount of days without having to compromise with the diet. With the diet. Okay, so what you're doing is you're trying to incentivize them and you're trying to give them something which is of value to them. So basically how I create my own bonuses is I look at the product and inside the product I see what is the missing element. What is that one single element that could actually complete the product? If I was that product creator, what would I have added next? So I try to find that thing, I build that thing as a bonus and I incentivize my audience. Okay, I send to offer A, that's over, the promo once the promotion period of offer A is over, I send it to offer B. Once that is over, I send it to offer C. Okay? And they, the, they keep on buying months after months after months. So some of the buyers of in my list right now are four years old. So they have been buying my recommendation for the last four years. Now that's a really, really long period. And why would that happen? Because of only one thing, which is you have to provide value as well consistently to them. So I run a blog. The reason I run a blog is to provide content, to provide value in between these promotions. Okay? So I cannot go ahead and bombard my visit by list with offer after offer, offer after offer. It will eventually die out. So what you need to do is you need to re-engage, re-energize, Okay, uh, motivate them by sending emails sometimes, wish, wish them certain festivals. So the, the idea is to keep them responsive. The more responsive your list is, the better for your affiliate offers. So these are certain things which are here. Now I would like to share another case study with you, uh, you know, exact case study which I did. So I mean, uh, executing the membership funnel. So I have one with case study funnel as well. So, but I would give an example of that particular thing. So what I did is, I built out, so, uh, so the t tool which I talked about right now, uh, which was connect audience, which helps you sync your leads from autoresponder to Facebook custom audience. Okay, so I wanted to promote that tool. So what I did is, I thought what could be the best idea to promote this tool. I went ahead and I built an entire course around it by the name Facebook Laser Targeting Masterclass. Okay? So what I did is, I saw what could complement that offer. And I built Laser Targeting Masterclass and in that Laser Targeting, I'm specifically talking about this particular software that you need to go ahead to laser target people, you need to sync your leads on automation and do this, do that. Okay? So it's, it's structured in that manner. There is one complete module dedicated to it. And there are five modules in that particular course. So uh, once I did that, I ran it as a paid course. Okay, first I ran it as a paid course. In my case, this was different because I already have a pre-built audience. In your case, it would be different because you don't have a pre-built audience. You'll have to give that course for free. Okay, that training for free. That's some that's some particular incentive for free, which people come and consume quickly and take action. So. What I did, I promoted it, so I got somewhere around, uh, if I remember, 150 sales of that course. That course was priced at around $29 and it, I ran a very sweet little promotion of 5 day period uh, for my email list. 
Okay, so it, it gave me 150 to 29 dollars in revenue. Now what happens after these 150 people? So 50 people went on ahead and purchased that Connect Audience tool after going through my course. Why? Because I had the AR sequences in place. I had the remarketing in place. That is why. Otherwise, you cannot have such a high conversion rate because people don't consume courses. As somebody pointed out, only 3% of people actually go through the course. But if you have the AR sequences and your remarketing bang on, there are going to be more percentages consuming your content. So 50 people out of those 150 purchased Connect Audience, which was priced at $97. Okay, my percentage commission was 50% flat, so it gave me like, you know, you can do the calculation, 29 into 150 plus half of 97 which was 48.5 into 50. That was the total amount of revenue I did with, this, with that 5 day little period with that particular fund. And now that funnel is evergreen and it's running every single day. The leads keep on coming in, the leads keep go through the content, they're thankful that I created the content, they become responsive and at the same time they purchase the content. So this is one of the case studies which I did. Okay, there is one more which I did for another product which was a case study ninja product but I guess that's, you get the idea. You get the idea, right? Yes. It's great.